Good morning! This is Saturday morning and I have been in San Jose. Yay! So I will show you guys our Airbnb house later because right now it's a mess. But look how cute! They have like a cute little garden here. They have those white flowers, white fences, very summery, very, you know, summer vibes. I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Right now we are super duper hungry so we gotta get some food. Okay, let's go. Look at that. Something it's so big. It's so pretty. This is the place. It's called Huanglan Sandwiches. This is our bánh mì. <gasps> it's still very warm. Wow. Okay, let me open it. Wow, it smells so aromatic, guys. And um, ta-da! This is the filling. A lot of vegetables. Um, they also have like ham, Vietnamese ham in here. Oh. So good. Let me. And the baguette is soft on the inside and very crispy on the outside. So I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. This is so good. This brings back. A lot of memories. When I was young, my mom, when I was like still um, a child, my mom would usually um, took me to school on her motorbike, and then she would stop at this Hunwan sandwich place in my hometown, and I'll eat this on the way to school, and it's usually very very good. The ham is super, super flavorful. Highly, highly recommend this place. Very authentic, like me, place. That was a very good breakfast, guys. Um, so we are definitely not full because we're sharing one sandwich. So we would go to another restaurant and try this dish called Chakalava, which is very, very popular, and which is like one of my favorite Vietnamese food. And I haven't found one in New York. You guys, 
the sizzling sound. It's so good. This is turmeric fish, and then they have dill, they have green onions, um, onions, and they have, what is it, peanut on top. It's served with this sauce here, very potent, very intense. Um, vermicelli and a lot of veggies, a lot of greens. And this is like a side dish. You can eat on top to create crunchiness. And let's dive right in. So we have a situation here, um, we are still at the restaurant. This is what it says, I have the key here, this is the key, I press it here, but it doesn't signal or anything. So I press start, yeah it's just like that, shift to park. See, like try, if I try start again, and this is what it looks like. If I put break, then I turn to drive, it gives me this sign, I cannot move. Cannot move the steering wheel, cannot do any, any shit. So, that's, we have to call the enterprise, the rental company, and they said that there is a truck that will come by and tow our car away and then we will give in a new car. It's crazy. We don't know what happened, but um, it's just that. It sucks, I know. And it's steaming hot in here, so we're gonna like go outside, get some fresh air before we like explode physically and mentally. So Enterprise people just called and they said that a, a truck will coming will be will be coming in 90 minutes. So we're stuck here for another 90 minutes. Not ideal. We want to go to Santa Cruz and I don't think we can make it in time. We'll see. A few moments later. Finally, the tolling truck is here after like million calls so he's gonna help us pick up our car broken car let's go talk to him like he cannot speak English at all like I don't want to be mean but hello sir thank you so much for coming yeah yeah I, I came there and there was a white truck too What's the problem for this? Uh, the car, it has some braking issue. It cannot move. I cannot let use that. Let me pass the oh. power. Okay. Please. Thank you. Are you checking the power? Yeah, maybe probably the battery is not good, no? Maybe. Okay, let me see. Oh, 
because they bought them in. Oh, it's a battery? Yeah. Battery is, oh, I see, I see. So it's, it's working now? Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much. So we finally uh, on the move. We are heading to Santa Cruz and hopefully nothing bad happens from this point. sunny it's so warm hopefully um, it stays warm this way um, until I go because I definitely do not have do not bring my jacket or anything swing it okay I'll take you guys to the beach see ya Day, please ignore my restless face cuz it's so hard to keep it all together ever since we left I guess it just makes sense to what the reasoning was when I said in case I go no need to be stressed gotta take it focus there I really miss the shade of blue photos hopefully and now we are writing this ta-da Finally back to San Jose, and today we're gonna eat. Uh, we're gonna go to this dessert place that I have seen all over the internet. It's called 
Zooey's Cakes and Dessert. Let's go! This is uh, taro dessert and this is my bubble tea. Mm. So good. I love oolong. Oolong is like my go-to. And then this is roasted, so it's even better. like some kind of fermented jelly. The yellow thing is not my favorite. The taro is pretty rich, creamy. So this is called the uh, uh, garlic cheese bread. This is very popular in Asia, Asian countries. This is called um, a sticky rice with uh, like savory topping. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's really good. It's really popular, especially in the middle and the southern part of Vietnam. This is a uh, crepe cake. I, I believe this is mango, and I believe oh, this is pandan, and this is durian. Yum, it's so good. Okay, let me try them all. I believe this is um, uh, custard cake with some kind of like uh, savory toppings. <gasps> it smells so freaking good, guys. Garlic scent to it. Just... So next, I'm gonna try the sticky rice. I don't know how to eat this. Usually, like I just mix them all. I think this is like Chinese sausage. It's like sweet, savory, very good. This is some kind of like ham, Vietnamese ham. This is some egg roll. Um, this is like. Sponge cake with like some kind of whole pork and some cheese on top. For dessert, I got the pandan crepe. Oh, actually, inside is just regular cream. Inside, just regular cream. It's um, durian infused cream in this green. Wow, today is so sunny. Hi everyone. Today is Sunday and we are going to Napa Valley. I want sunshine, I want rain, I want love, I want the pain. Cheer me up, go say my name Cause it don't feel the same When you're not around The feelings come out I wish I could say But I figured it out Got my head in the clouds When I'm feeling down Now that I know I can figure this out And little time's gonna take all 
lost and found, that's what we are City lights and plastic cars Tiny people, giant stars We don't care about what we find We just need each other's time Young and reckless by design I find my peace of mind Cause I don't wanna keep on waiting Waiting to have patience MG, it's so sunny, but here we are at the Domain Generos Winery. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly, but look at the flowers. So pretty. very sweet and it has this very full bubbly that kind of constantly release bubbles I wonder if they have something in here that makes it like constantly bubble you see that? but it's pretty easy to drink especially for me I don't drink alcohol ever so this is a pretty good intro like easy introduction to wine I think it's pretty good so this is our um, wine tasting they have like pairing uh, plates and food for us um, so we have the first this is called ultra brut um, I don't know much I think I already had like the guy explain to me like what each is but it is paired with this beet salad because um, it has a little bit of citrusy in the beet salad that kind of goes pairs well with this uh, particular wine. We move on to the second drink, which is the Brut Cuvée. So this is what it looks like. This one looks actually pretty similar to the first one. Um, let me try. Let me try it. Mm. This one has more of the chutney, I think. So it tastes stronger, a little bit stronger than the first one. Let's put it here. So I will try this with the um, this thing. This looks to me like chicken breast. Mm. This is pretty good. I like the chickpea puree. It's rich, creamy, and it's like has some kind of nutty flavor to it. Okay. So next up, I try the rose. Oh, this is my favorite. This is so cute. Look at the color. Mm. Mm. I think this has the most, I think they, he said 60% of chutney or something. Um, I, I think this is stronger than the first one, but less strong than the second one. But it's good. All of them kind of taste the same, like slightly different. Okay, I'll try that with the spicy... Uh, uh, with a spice short rib and they have this date on top okay mm. this is really good so good so good this is my favorite so far. It's like the dates is really sweet and it goes well with the pork that has some kind of like 
Mediterranean spice. So it's, yeah, it's perfect combination. I like this one. I truly like it. Okay. And then finally is this demi sec. Mmm. Mmm. So this one is not different from the starter drink. This is a little bit, um, how to say it? Challenging. Mm. I don't know how to describe this, but it's a, it's it has the more of the wine taste to it. <laughs> so bad. But I will try the short rib. Mm. It comes with like some kind of bread at the bottom. Mm. Good, good. This is good. The sauce is like pretty much like barbecue sauce, but a little bit sweeter, less tangier. Yeah, it's sweeter. Absolutely. Yeah, so far, like they all pretty good. I'm gonna wait for the hold on on the panna cotta to the end because I want to eat all the savory pieces first. my two-day um, visit to California and I have had so much fun I am very tipsy right now the wine is so good and yeah like I hope you guys enjoy this video this is going to be the ending of today's video I hope that I can bring you guys to more exciting places next time see ya